As we monitor the situation in the Middle East and Israel's reported response to Iran's latest attack, here at home, police have arrested 108 people at Columbia University in New York City after they cleared a camp of pro-Palestinian protesters. One demonstrator even saying this. School officials saying the arrests were all necessary to ensure safety after several warnings were ignored. Among those detained include the daughter of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, Isra Hirsi, who was also suspended from her school, Barnard College. Morning in America weekend anchor Henna Doba is with us now live in New York City. Henna, you were at the school when these arrests happened. What did you see? Yeah, hey, good morning. We saw so many officers heading in formation towards the university and they started arresting students. First, they gave them verbal warnings. A lot of those students weren't leaving and that's when the arrests happened. We are hearing that there might be mo more protests over the weekend. Of course, we will follow that on Morning in America weekends. However, following Columbia University's request to the NYPD, we know more than 100 demonstrators were arrested over the last two days. More students were suspended from the Ivy League. Now, this is when things progressed. They escalated. Police in riot gear and zip ties started arresting students on Thursday, loaded them onto police buses. Students were set up in tents inside the South Lawn of Columbia University. They were vowing to stay until the university agreed to divest from companies and institutions that profit from Israel-related business and the war on Gaza. These students came with signs. They came with bullhorns and passionate pleas. The protest was prompted on Wednesday by Columbia University leadership appearing before Congress. Now, defending the way they've handled the wave of anti-Semitism on cam campus since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war. After more than 30 hours of protests and several warnings, the university asked for assistance from the NYPD, sending this letter that said, in part, Talking about the students, they are not permitted to occupy this space. They're in violation of the university's rules and policies and must disperse. All university students participating in the encampment have been informed they are suspended. It went on to say they have interfered with the operation of the university, refused to identify themselves, refused to disperse, set up tents on campus space, failed to comply with policies, and damaged campus property. Now, students on both sides of the issue say the university leadership has let them down. I'm getting an education from a university that doesn't believe in the, the safety and dignity of Palestinian students on campus. It, yeah, it's just a real shame. It's a bit embarrassing to be affiliated with Columbia at this point. We're here today to show support to the Jewish students who feel persecuted. Now, as for the students arrested and suspended, one of them was Representative Elon Omar's daughter that you mentioned, Marnie, who attends the prestigious Barnard College. Now, in recent months, the university has disciplined several students who it says have broken rules. This is important. I thought this was an interesting fact. For the first time in decades, Columbia has hired private security. While according to a, a student paper, this is the first time mass arrests have been made on campus since the Vietnam War protests. And that, of course, was in 1968. A lot of a flurry of activity that continues today. Henna, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.